Hi, we're gonna walk you through the traditional room type at Granville Towers. Let's step inside. At Granville Towers, you can lease this particular style as double occupancy or single occupancy, but the layout of the room and the furniture provided remains the same, regardless of whether you do it as double or single occupancy. As you can see, the room includes two twin XL beds that are on platforms that are 22 inches off the ground. Each student also has his or her own closet featuring an adjustable shelf, as well as five roomy drawers. This back wall includes a robe hook that is designed for you to hang your large items. I do wanna take a minute to highlight the presence of our life safety equipment. This orange tube is part of our sprinkler system. It's imperative that nobody tamper with this equipment or place any items that will potentially rub that sprinkler pipe. As we move along, you can see the door to the suite restroom as well as our brand new HVAC system. These upgrades were completed in East as of November of 2020. And this now allows you to have a completely different temperature in your room versus that of the suite mate. And you control whether the heat or the air is on, which is really nice. As we move along from the full length mirror, we're gonna go over to the vanity cabinet and sink. You see that the hardware for your towels, your hand towels is mounted on the side and there's plenty of storage underneath that cabinet. With this particular area of the room, housekeeping will clean it if you have removed everything from that surface prior to their arrival. As the school year begins, you will get in a routine of knowing when housekeeping comes into your room. Otherwise, housekeeping will focus their efforts on cleaning the bathroom whereas students are responsible for taking out their own room trash and recycling. Their room trash bin and the recycle bin are provided. Here is the other closet in the room. You can now see that we have a cork strip mounted to the back wall of all the traditional rooms. This is present to help you decorate this wall a little bit easier since it is made of cinder block. As far as the other walls in your room, we advocate for you to use nails and push pins. I know that that might seem counter what many residence halls want you to use, but we have found that nails and push pins do a lot less damage to our drywall than adhesive products. We do have a window in every room and it does include the mini blinds. However, if you would like to cover this up with a curtain, you're welcome to do so. You may not drill into the wall, so we would recommend using a tension rod to hang that. There is a lighting unit above each bed. Of course, you're welcome to move the furniture around if you want, but it does have an individual switch, which is very convenient if one person is maybe up studying and the other one would like to go to bed. As we progress along the long wall, you will see that there are two mounted bookshelves and two desks. You're welcome to use our provided desk chair, or you can bring in your own if you would prefer something that is a little bit fancier that has a padded seat or wheels. As we continue on our tour, you will see the hallway side of the wall. And then we are back at the room door. Thank you so much for coming.